Greetings once again to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. Celine Driver once again coming to you uh, once again with another unboxing and review and once again <laughs> I have to laugh at myself at this point. This is a Zelos. Um, however, uh, this Zelos uh, was a gift. Let me explain. Um, uh, right around the time that I'm making this video uh, will be my uh, birthday. Uh, I will be 55 years old in 2020. Um, that makes me a fairly old guy. Not terribly old, uh, but uh, grateful to be on the earth for 55 years and uh, grateful to have been given many opportunities to do many wonderful things, uh, including being a father, but that's another story. Uh, my father actually ordered this particular Zelos for himself and while I'm talking, I'll uh, begin to unbox the thing. Um, he ordered this for himself and loved the watch, but decided that this watch would be better served uh, to be in my possession. Mm -hmm. So this is my birthday present from my, from my mother and my father. And I am very appreciative. Um, typical Zelos um, outer sleeve, very thick, high quality cardboard with the Z embossed. That should not surprise anyone. Uh, the standard Zelos uh, wooden box with the twin hinges and the magnetic catches. That doesn't surprise anyone. Uh, a little bit different Zelos roll now. Instead of a blue one, this is more of a uh, kind of a gray. Sorry, I didn't mean to open that off camera. Now with the folding flap here, let me uh, make that work a little better there we go let's see what do we have we have a rubber dive strap with the zelos signed buckle very nice uh, nothing in there we have the zelos warranty card and uh is that upside down that is upside down sorry and uh, we can see that this was uh, serial number seven, purchased in November of 2020, and it was purchased directly from Zelos. <laughs> but that big lump there should give you a big hint if you didn't pay attention to the title of this video as to what this is. <laughs> there you go. Ta ta ta. Ta da. <laughs> it's an abyss. And it's a big, big watch. This is even bigger than the, um, but not by much, but a little bigger than the um, uh, Hammerhead Chronograph that I just recently put a video up on. I hope you all enjoyed that review. Um, this is one of the turbine models. My father really loved the uh, idea of that um that turbine shaped um, sub second uh, that second sub dial um, with the second hand being in the shape of a uh, a turbine or you know some of you navy guys out there who might recognize that it looks sort of like a propeller on a submarine doesn't it, it does to me um, now there are two versions of this watch there is this version which is one in the steel with the with the blue, and there's also another one in uh, me, uh, no, meter, sorry, uh, in bronze with the turbine style and the single crown, and then there's uh, another one uh, which is the majority of the versions out there, which are the dual crown. You have one at two, which is a, a I believe a helium relief valve, and the crowns at four o'clock and a standard sweep second hand in the middle using a Salita uh, two, SW200 movement. 
whereas this one uses the 260 movement. And no helium relief valve on this one, so that's interesting. Don't see one. Anyway, not to worry, I'm not going scuba diving, so there, there you go. Now, you may notice on the turbine, there's one blade. There it is down there. It has a little red tip. That's the where you know where the pointer normally would be so right now it's passing 40 seconds adding up to 45 seconds uh so that's how you tell where the second hand is and of course it hacks just like a conventional second hand does date window at the uh three o'clock very subtle same color date wheel as the uh, watch face so it's very subtle um, date wheel, but it is there. Great 120 click ratcheting bezel. Loud and proud. And very good movement, very good feel. And no back play and no crown wobble. Typical high quality Zelo stuff. You know, you can always count on Elshin to produce a good product. Um, that's why I own 20 of them at this point, folks. That's why I own 20 of them. Of course, this one was a gift, so, but I still own it. Standard Zelos, uh, double lock milled clasp. You can see that beautiful artwork of a, uh, submarine tra traversing a deep sea canyon. You can also see that this is one, uh, this is number seven out of 75 in this colorway and design. And you can see just how big this bad boy is. Everyone else in their video says bad boy, I might as well too. Zelo sign crown. Look how far that movement, uh, movement, sorry. Look how far that um, case back drops from the bottom of the case. All the way up to that domed sapphire crystal. Beautiful watch. Wears great too. Even though it's a big, thick, chunky watch, it does not wear ridiculously large across the wrist. As you can see, it wears very nicely. On my seven and a quarter inch wrist, it fits very nicely. It is not a lightweight watch, but then again, it doesn't feel overly heavy. I mean, I've worn my um, Hammerhead 2 Chronograph, which is about the size of this thing. I've worn it all day, and when I take it off, it, it's not like I go, oh, thank God, it's off. It's, it's so horrible and heavy. No, the watch doesn't wear that heavy. It really does uh, strike a very nice balance between the size and wearability. So let's see. I have my sheet of facts here for you for us to uh, nerd out on for a minute. It is a Zelos Abyss 3. There have been two previous generations. I did actually own an Abyss 2 and made a video of it um, back in my archives. You'll find it. Uh, this really doesn't look like anything like that watch, but uh, I did own an Abyss 2 for a while. I did sell it. I never owned an Abyss 1. I don't think I've ever seen one, actually. Uh, it is a 3,000 meter water-resistant dive watch. And uh, judging from the construction of this thing, I believe it. It is 43 millimeters in diameter. So it's not the biggest diameter watch out there. I mean, I've got plenty of watches in my own collection are bigger around than this thing. It is 22 millimeters thick, uh, thick, sorry, 22 millimeter lug width. So it will accept pretty much any strap you want to put on it. It is a 51 millimeter tip to tip. You can see that very short lugs and the bracelet drops away very nicely. I mean, there is that solid uh, solid link protruding from the, uh, from, the, from the side there, but 
the the bracelet drops away very nicely and it has a very silky smooth and it's very maneuverable as you can see so this is going to fit really well on any wrist 20 and a half millimeter thickness it's 18 and a half millimeters thick without the crystal but who measures the thickness of a watch without a crystal that's silly and that crystal is a sapphire domed crystal with a ceramic loomed bezel um, right, uh, uh, or surrounding it. And it is using the aforementioned Salida SW260 movement. The 260 movement is the one that has the uh, separate subdial second hand uh, capability. And it has, of course, the date window at 3 o'clock. And uh, while I'm not able to show you it, uh, you can always go on the Zelos website to see a picture of it. This thing is a loom monster. Lots of C3 Luminova. Very bright, including the crown. So very bright um, dive watch. It will hold that loom uh, brightness for a good long time. Just a great watch. I mean, just, just, I really, really... I'm running out of superlatives to use when it comes to Zelo, so I really am. Uh, it just, every, every time I, I put my hands on a Zelo, so it makes me happy. And uh, the fact that, yeah, I mean, my you know, I, my dad didn't have to, my, well, my dad, my mom also. I mean, my parents didn't have to do this, uh, uh, but I, I love them for it, and I appreciate um, them doing that. Look at that sunburst beautiful sunburst dial really picks the light up very nicely so i'm very very appreciative of uh, of the uh present uh for my birthday so i will wear this of course with much pride and i'm going to wrap the video at this point um and you know you know how i feel about this watch and i don't think i made made my uh feelings very secretive it's a beautiful watch. And I'm a sucker for the color blue. So, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Getting a thumbs up, getting a like, um, really helps out with the um, algorithms on the YouTubes. Helps my uh, channel become more searchable. And, uh, you know, more people will find me. And that's really a big goal of mine is to grow the channel and have more people find me uh comments questions suggestions down there please i read them all i will respond to them all but i will delete the nasty stuff and i'll block that poster because you know i don't have time for it so i'll just get rid of it and uh if you're new to the channel or you've been here before but you haven't yet, uh, please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon next to it so that when I post new content, you are alerted to it. Um, I appreciate all my subscribers. I'm very happy and uh, glad you all are here and, helped me have grown, and have helped me grow my channel. And uh, I promise I will try and keep you entertained with more content. So I'll wrap it there and say thank you for coming by and I'll see you in my next video.